DMRC is working towards promoting the rich heritage, art and culture of India through artworks, display panels and exhibits at its stations. Delhi Metro's Phase 3 stations have been utilized for the portrayal of history and heritage of the country. Various artists including professional and amateur were used to create these artworks. Every station is being designed with a theme and storyline which depicts the great Indian heritage. When you enter the metro premises, the ambience of the interior takes you into the world of art and culture. Whether it is abstract or realistic art, colorful ceramic tiles or informative panels, the wide network of Delhi Metro Rail Corporation has covered them all beautifully. Some of the stations, like Janpath or ITO, feature modern art. ITO, for instance, has been adorned with metal art panels above its escalators, including fancy solutions like a bicycle hanging from the wall. The artwork in each station evidently highlights a particular monument or art form, or a cultural trait of Delhi and other parts of India. A wall of the Janpath station now includes a decorative panel depicting Jantar Mantir, a famous 18th century astronomical observatory located in central Delhi. The artwork at Pink Line's Johari and Cliff station is a tribute to the eminent classical artists of India. Creative portraits of great artists like Shehnai maestro Bismillah Khan, noted flautist Hari Prasad Chaurasia, popular vocalist Shubha Mutkal and sitar maestro Pandit Ravi Shankar dot the station premises. The pink line and Indian cultural symbols seem to coalesce in more stations, especially Gokulpuri and Shiv Vihar, which exhibit different dance cultures of our country. Dhunuchi, Bhangra, Dandiyaras, Bharatnatyam, and Chau, Cham, and Katputli. At the horse car station, an interchange of the yellow and magenta lines, historical monuments galore. Lodi tombs, the Gurudwara Bangla Sahib, Jama Masjid, and Humayu's tomb reflect the diverse cultural fabric of India. At Mandi House Metro Station, the work here chronicles the journey of the area from brick kilns to a culture hub. Its panels display digital prints of original maps and vintage photographs, like a rare aerial view of the modern school at Barakamba, an old photograph of India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, opening the Sapru House, and actor Nasiruddin Shah in a 1973 theatre production by theatre doyen Ibrahim Alkazi. Rare images of Dadi Padamji, under whom the Sri Ram Centre established the first modern puppet theatre, are also on display. At the INA Metro station, the DMRC, in collaboration with the Ministry of Textiles, has also installed 58 panels of handicrafts and handlooms created by craftsmen from across India, from Mithila paintings from Bihar to terracotta tiles from Rajasthan. Nature enthusiasts who commute by Metro will not be disappointed either, as Mandavali West Vinod Nagar has its focus on flora and fauna, and the walls of the station feature vibrant paintings of leaves, flowers, tokens and koi fish. Focused lighting has been provided to all the panels to enhance the overall look and feel. The Delhi metro stations which are spread across Delhi and Sihar have become the prime spaces for promotion of the unique art and culture of India. The artworks installed in Delhi metro perfectly capture the unparalleled diversity of India through vibrant and colourful displays. This not only brings a fresh look to the stations, but also acts as an advocate of our rich heritage.